Hello viewers, Sunday Joseph Adenuga, the Pastor Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria with you again. This time around, I'm going to be speaking with you on this topic, love yourself. Love yourself. <laughs> My dear viewer, it is not a sin to love yourself. Indeed, in this presentation, I want to really hammer it, the need for you to love yourself. When you look at the world, you think everybody loves him or herself. But when you take a closer look, you are going to find out that many people, and maybe I don't know, including you, do not really, really love themselves. And so God has sent me with this message to you this moment. And you need to begin to love yourself. Love yourself. If you love yourself, then you are going to do the following. Number one, you are going to accept God's opinion of you in his word. You are not going to accept the opinion of the world. The opinion of your friends concerning you may not be 100% correct of you. The opinion of your father or mother, the opinion of your friends, the opinion of your enemies may not be the correct position of you. So the first step in loving yourself is to look at what God is saying, what God's words is saying about you. Follow and believe what God's word said about you. That's the first step in loving yourself. Now let me go and show you some of the things God has said concerning you. The first thing I want to tell you that God has said concerning you in his, in his word, which is the Bible, is this. In Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, the Bible says, Fear not, for I am with you. So if you are going to love yourself, you are going to believe that word, you are going to rest on that word. You are going to make use of that word. And you are going to refuse to allow any form of fear to come into your life. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will be with you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness, says God. If God said that, no matter what is it, it is that wants to make you afraid you ought to stand and say no in the name of jesus i refuse to fear like david said in psalm 23 he said though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil you need to fear no evil for god is with you he is your strength he is your god he loves you so this is what you should believe number two you have to accept in Joel chapter 2 verse 25 God says I will restore unto you all the years that the cankerworm and the palmerworm and the caterpillar have eaten have you lost anything of recent have you lost a job lost some money lost a loved one God says I will restore unto you all so if you love yourself you are not going to bow your heads be moaning you are going to rise up and say, my God shall restore all. Hallelujah. Number three, Philippians chapter four, verse 19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so if God is going to supply your needs according to his riches, not according to the economy of your nation. Remember that. Not according to the economy of your nation. You see, it is not according to the work you do. It is according to his riches. And my friend, God is rich. Look at the entire earth. You are going to find the riches of God. Look beyond the earth. Look into, the, into our solar system. You will see the riches of God. And when you further look into the Milky Way, the, the, the system to which our sun belongs, the galaxy of stars, you will see the riches of God. God is rich. If God is going to supply your needs according to his riches, man, you just need to go and sleep. You just need to go and relax. Because God is truly, truly rich, my brother, my sister. As you listen to me, 
if you love yourself, you are going to stop every worry. You are going to move ahead with what God has said. God has said, I am with you. God has said, don't fear. He said, I will supply your needs. Look at another thing he said. He said, you shall not die, but live. Are you sick? Are you on a sick bed? Have the doctor pronounced that you are going to die? Have they given up on you? That is the opinion of the doctor. What is the opinion of God? If you are not 80, if you are not 70 years, God says in Psalm 118 verse 17, it says, You shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Refuse to die. Say to death, I refuse to die. The Bible says, I shall not die. You are good. I see you come out of that sick bed. You have the power to live. God is in you. He said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hey, God is inside you. Love yourself. Believe his word. Let me tell you another thing that he said. He said, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. No matter the sickness you are going through, by his stripes you are healed. You are truly healed. By his stripes you are healed. Say to with me, I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am healed of this sickness. I am healed of this disease. I am healed in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul. Say it with me. I am healed. Oh my God. I have joy inside me because I know you are healed. Just believe it. If you love yourself, you are not going to believe what is surrounding you. You are going to believe the word of God. That's what I said. The title of this message, Love Yourself. Do you love yourself? Then say with me, I am healed. Let me tell you another thing God says. In the book of Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, it says, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment shall be condemned. My brother, it is well. No weapon.